Well, hello, my fabulous friends. I hope you're doing well. Well, we've heard so much about Charles' health, Catherine's health, done some little bit about William's health. Let's ask and see how Harry's health. Like, we all know he, you know, has some issues with self-medication, but does are there any other health issues that he has? And uh, th so this antique anatomy deck is so amazing for health issues and health problems. Um, I thought this would be perfect to ask. What can we see with Harry's health? What do the cards... Ooh, they're ready. They're like, hey, we're ready. We're ready. Okay. Harry's health. Let's get a health read. I don't think I've ever done a health reading on Harry. Five of cups upright. Well, there you might be self-medicating with five different things. The moon in reverse. Dark thoughts. Hmm. Five of coins upright. Three of cups in reverse. Now oh, there he is. The knight of coins. The Knight of Coins. Um, well, first of all, so cups are the medication or they can be hearts or um, or um, blood circulation if I get heart cards in there. But we have head, head, and head. I think that the cards are initially telling us here, um, I think he's had lifelong dark thoughts. I think that um, he's been self-medicating for a while. Let's see if more bones show up. No, oh, another head. The sun in reverse on the dark moon. This guy has seriously dark thoughts. Seriously dark thoughts. Wow. Page of swords. Look at that knife right through the skull. Wow, more cups, six of cups in reverse. He's had them for a very long time. Um, very long time. These dark thoughts go back to very long time. The five of rods in reverse. Look at all the fives. This is, fives are unstable. Now, rods, are, of course, are muscles, passion, movement. Five of swords. All four fives are on here. He is... He can become obsessed with something, actually. He can become really obsessed with something, and he always has to be right. And here we have ten, nine of coins. And look at that. When I look at this nine of coins, it's all jaws. So this is talking. He doesn't have a speech impediment, does he? No, he doesn't. He has a word impediment. Nine of coins. That could be an ego, but I'm not getting that that's a, what would health, what would talking be with health? And it's upright. Maybe I'll talk, no action. Oh my God, the high priestess. Another skull one. I think that Harry, like, isn't this interesting? Everyone thinks, well, of course things are going to shrub. You're doing health. But you know what? We don't see any any uh, body issues here at all. We don't see any skeletal, skeletal issues. We don't see any heart issues. Um, we don't see, like, anything like that. All of Harry's is, is mental health issues. And it has to do with talking. Like lots and lots of talking. And mind you though, not, um, Nine of Coins also is a loner. 
as somebody who is feels like they're alone in the world. I'm almost getting, if I really close my eyes and look at this card, that here's Harry in the middle and he hears, he, he thinks all these other people around him are talking like a paranoia. A paranoia. I'm not saying he's schizophrenic, but he does have all, he has all four fives. So he's, he's, there's some instability with Harry. Fives are unstable. They're constantly, they're changing. They're three and two or two and three. We're four and one, like they're a very, it's a very unstable number. It's a, you know, it's a crossroads number as well. Oh, Harry. He's very stubborn. He's extremely stubborn here with the two of, of swords in reverse. When he makes up his mind, he's single-minded. And you, there, you cannot pull him off that track. The magician in reverse. He has a tendency to lie a little bit. A uh, tendency to maybe be... Um, uh, I want to say chronic. Uh, I'm I'm just getting like lying. Page of Cups. Page of Cups. Again, oh, I wonder if there was something that went on with his birth. And the Eight of Coins. Now, now we have hips and lungs and hearts. So now we have different parts. And the final one is three of coins. So we've got a couple of hands here and another skull. We have hands on there. This eight of coins. What's this eight of coins? So, so far he has nine of coins, eight of coins. Now coins are also our bones. So maybe he does have some type of arthritis in his hands, perhaps. Um, I don't know if anybody, if they've ever said anything about that. I'm sure that would have come up in his military records as well, unless those are, are swollen. Swollen? Why did I say swollen? Oh, I wonder if he has his dad's thing with the swollen hands. I think he might be a bit of a complainer. What's that when somebody, um, they, you know, they get a cold and it's pneumonia and, you know, they bang their toe and they, you know, their foot is broken. What's that called when they exaggerate their health problems? Um, I can't think of the word. I know there's a word for it. Um, somebody who's always sick and, that's not chronic. It's not chronic. I don't know why I can't think of it. I think though, yeah, he might have, he might have something in his hands, like a, like an arthritis or something, or maybe eventually, maybe the potential is there for some kind of arthritis in his hands. Yeah. Otherwise, other than that, like we don't get like, he might have like problems with headaches perhaps because he, he does have a lot of the skull and, and the bone part. Yeah, I, the, but I think, I think more of his is, uh, is definitely, hmm. mental I honestly do I do not see anything terribly wrong with him like it, when I did uh, Williams there was definitely something there was definitely stress there definitely something with the heart um definitely some something there with Harry's is more self-medication I think it's, he, there he has a lot of dark thoughts I think he's he's uh is somewhat stubborn and uh, I think he self-medicates to to try, try and get rid of that. He could have chronic headaches. He actually, he could have chronic headaches. He's got enough skulls here. 
with with the um, bones part of it. So he could he could have um, headaches, but a lot of the skulls have like it's more to do with his thoughts. There's flowers there. It's thoughts. Yeah. So other than what we what we think he has, he actually has. <laughs> I don't see. <laughs> I, you know, I was kind of prepared myself to see if he had any reproductive problems. And that would have been the Ace of Wands in reverse or the Two Cups in reverse or the Lovers in reverse, anything like that. None of that came up. So that all of that might just be, um, that might just be online gossip. Oh, why can't I think of that word? Uh, it's not schizophrenic. It's, see, I told you I'm not a doctor or health professional. Um, ah, I can see the word, but I, I can't put it all together. All right. Thank you very much for watching. If you, I'm sure people are typing it in right now as I'm, as I'm finishing this up. Please take good care of yourself. See you online. Bye for now. <laughs>